We were doing like just one routine and all of a sudden I was like, whoa, we need to stop for a second. Who is it? It's right in the beginning of the routine. I didn't even see it. Ambulance? Yes, they're on the way. The last thing that anybody was thinking about was someone's gonna get hurt. This week is bid week. It's our first bid event coming up. So this competition, we don't actually go against anybody in our actual division, but we are competing against other world teams for the bid. So we're going against Reckless, Ghost, Black Ops, all of them. So it's like brother and sister love. Like you guys are it's competitive, but like you want to see each other win, you know? So GSSA is, I guess you would call it a pretty big local competition. Um, a lot of teams like in California are going to be there. They're giving out two paid Worlds bids. And a lot of the California All-Stars teams go, other, other Worlds teams will go, and I'll try and get this bid. There's this weird, like, in-house competition where it's like, I, I'm trying to beat you, but I support you. Like, I'm in your corner, but I'm punching you, you know what I mean? Oh God, this competition is so important. This is, oh man, this is where we get a bid. Like, last year I was on Smode and we did not get a bid here. Which is crazy because like whatever, the only other times that Smod has never gotten a bid at GSSA, they didn't win Worlds. So. This is our last practice before GSSA. Uh, we did bring on a new team member, uh, Natalie. We had to rearrange a couple things in the standing tumbling section because we were down one, but it ended up making our sections look that much stronger. So we're really happy with our decision. I'm really excited, but also a little bit nervous because the bid situation with the non-tumbling teams is a little bit different because we technically cannot get a full paid at this competition, so we gotta work and get that at-large bid. At Showcase, we kind of like laid out the gauntlet, like we came out strong at Showcase. We've had our ups and downs leading up to GSSA. We've had a, uh, the team fluctuate a little bit. It's always fluctuating. It's the name of the game in cheerleading. And at least at this gym, we have enough numbers so that we can kind of play with puzzle pieces until day two worlds. Everything's changing, but we're finally in a spot where everything's getting consistent and we can like finally go into GSSA like feeling a little bit more confident. My name is Saya, I'm 21 years old and I've been cheering for seven years. I started off cheering in high school. I cheered on high school, cheered for four years. And then my sophomore year, I decided to do all-star cheer and that's when I went to Cali. One, two, three, and five, seven, down. One, lift, three, four, five, seven, one. I am I feel like my experience with TNT has been really, really different than all my other teams, which has been really cool. Just because I really like to stunt and I'm a flyer, I wanted to fly on a Worlds team, and I knew Eddie and Orby were coaching, so I came over here, tried out for the non-tumbling team really last minute, like the day of I made my decision. A few months ago, I had an accident, and at that point I didn't even know if I was going to be able to compete, so it's really exciting for me to go into this week wanting to get a bid. You got it! Whack hit. Lift and squeeze. Push your grip. So it was in the beginning of our season. It was like maybe like the third or fourth week in. Um, the day before practice, I was hopping a gate to get into my house and I was wearing two rings and my ring got caught onto the gate and as I jumped down, my finger flung off. And so it was like dangling off of my hand. And um, I mean, I called 911 and they were thankfully able to like reattach it. But I had practice the next day and I had no idea what to tell Orby. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to tell him. So I just sent him the pictures and he 
freaked out. I thought that I wasn't gonna be able to cheer and I was excited to cheer this year just because like it was a fun team, it was like a new team. But like one of my first like initial reactions was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to cheer this season. Oh my God, Saya, <laughs> she's crazy, I love her. She is amazing, I love her. She's just like this little ball of energy, she's running around, talking like super duper fast, like you don't even know what she says sometimes because she's just, she's just so wacky. Yeah! She's amazing, she's super talented and she is a hard worker and she really, really likes to do good. One, two, three, you hit, five, we move on seven, and one, centers, three, four, five, seven, and one, two, catch three, dip, five, lift, seven, and one, and three, four, not bad. So it happened back in June, like the beginning week of June, and I was in surgery within like the two hours, it was like a three hour surgery, went in, came out, I was actually in the hospital for two weeks. Um, and they thought that they were gonna have to amputate my finger, so just take it off completely. And when I came out of my surgery, they had told me that there was like a 90% chance they would have to do that. And then we got a plastic surgeon on my case, and he introduced us to something called leech therapy. And they would come in my room every hour to like remove the leech and put the leech back on, or to take my blood test. I was just kind of like, just amputate it, and I was over it. Just because it would be easier for me to one, like heal, and two, like just deal with my everyday life. It's also my dominant hand, so I write on it, I do school with it, I live on my own, so I make my food. I'm glad that my mom was just like, no, like I know it's hard now, but like we can deal with it. I kind of knew that like this was one of my last few years that I wanted to cheer, and it was like my first world's team, and the doctors didn't think it was a good idea, but they were reasonable with me, and they were able to make a prosthetic for me instead of like, you know, having like a full on cast on my arm. So this is like molded to my hand, and then if it was like a harder cast or like it was all wrapped around, like I wouldn't be able to grab. So they made sure I had my three fingers to at least like grab my bases. She is one of those athletes that will push through like no matter what, like no matter what she's going through, like outside of cheer or if her body's in pain or anything, she'll push through. She'll like notice someone's having a bad day. She'll like walk up to them and be like, hey, hey. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm out of it, snap me out of it. She'll like snap you out of it real quick. I feel like me being negative wasn't gonna like help me heal, you know? Um, I feel like if I was like dwelling on it, then like it's not gonna get anywhere. But when I like figured out that I could still cheer and I was still able to fly, it made me wanna work harder to not let my team down. So it made me wanna like work harder to prove to everybody that like I can do what everybody else can still do. Like, I'm used to it already because I've been the youngest for quite a while, so, yeah, same with me. I haven't performed with Ange since 2017. That was our last performance together, so I think that it'd be so fun to, like, be on the floor again with her because I started, I started everything with her. Like, I started Smode with her, like, we did our last year together, so, yeah, it'd be really fun. <laughs> Hey, 
Get underneath. Better. Honestly, I thought it was going to be rough, but it's actually pretty good. It's really good. You never want to be hurt, honestly. Um, but especially uh, before a really big competition because it's when you want to get a bid for worlds. So you want to do everything. And so I couldn't do my tumbling. I was like barely able to walk. So um, they put Angelina on my spot in case I couldn't do it. We did the pyramid the first time. I was like, well, I was like a, a little she looks shaky, but we, we made it. We made it through. Us and Smoet are going for those two full paid bids. Like, every year, it was like almost a plan to get the bid at GSSA. And that was always the goal. You would knock it out early so you wouldn't have to worry about it. And now, you know, Smoet has us to worry about. And we have to worry about Smoet. And we're both pretty much playing against ourselves. It's not like we can play defense, you know, and try and shut them down and vice versa. So it's like, your our goal is to beat our routine. You know, that's that, our, that challenge is to hit that routine. Oh, he handled it. Ice. I know, I know, I know. Take a deep breath, you'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know. Take a deep breath. Oh, he handled it. Honestly, like when it came down to the ambulance leaving with her, I turned around, I looked at Angela and said, Come, come over here. <laughs> like, we might as well start trying it because realistically, if Chimmy couldn't do it, and you know, God forbid she couldn't do it or was like a major injury, we're gonna need a new flyer. Two cheerleaders walk into a bar. First one says, hey, do you watch cheerleaders? Second one was like, no. First one said, you should every Sunday. It's a terrible joke.